Here in recent weeks, I've had some updates on my system go rather badly. I, I've had some updates, uh, not necessarily that packages were broken, it's I had updates that for whatever reason were interrupted uh, due to power loss or me hitting the wrong key on the keyboard or whatever it happens to be. Like most of you guys, I always update my system inside a graphical environment. Whatever desktop or window manager I happen to be running, I just use that graphical session to update my system. If I switch over to this virtual machine here of Ubuntu, you know, typically how I update my systems, I almost always do it at the terminal, right? So you know, here on an Ubuntu-based system, I would do a sudo apt update and and sudo apt upgrade. And if I run that, you know, it's going to start updating, I don't know, 100 packages or whatever. It's been a couple of weeks since I've updated this VM, but, you know, it's going to just start running that update. And then as it's running that update, it may have updates to important packages like the kernel, the video driver, or the bootloader, right? And that is actually kind of what I ran into a problem. I made a video uh, about a month, maybe two months ago, where I had an issue where one of the updates on my Arco Linux machine, this workstation here at my office, I had a uh, update interrupted because I think I did something where uh, either the window manager crashed on itself or I did something on the keyboard to cause it to crash. And when the window manager crashed, I, I had an update running in the terminal and it was in the middle of uh, updating the kernel. And that caused me some frustration because then I had to get a USB stick, a rescue USB stick with another Linux distribution on it and then go back in reinstall the kernel again the proper way without you know causing anything to crash and then i got my machine back and then i had another episode where i had a broken grub for similar reasons and then here in the last couple of days we've had some severe thunderstorms here in this part of the world where i live and i lost power during an update just earlier today <laughs> and luckily that did not cause me any issues it wasn't in the middle of like updating a the kernel or anything like that so that was nice and no bootloader issues with grub but it's it's happened to me like three times in the last i don't know month and a half or so and I, i've gotten to the point where i'm just no longer going to update inside my desktop environment or window manager whether it be at the terminal or whether you do it through your graphical uh package manager or your software center because of all of that they're just all running the same commands right they're all running that sudo apt update sudo apt upgrade on debian and ubuntu based systems or if you're on an arch based system you know sudo pacman syu but don't do it inside your desktop environment or your uh, window manager go ahead and drop to a tty and that's what i'm going to start doing i'm just going to always just default to Control Alt F3, right? <laughs> Control Alt F3 will take you to TTY3. So Control Alt and then one through seven on the keyboard will typically take you to, you know, TTY1, TTY2, TTY7. So on Ubuntu based systems, you've got TTY3 here and I could log in and then I could run my uh, sudo apt update and and sudo apt upgrade. And I could do that here rather safely. And then you know, once it's done, I could, uh, I'll go ahead and decline taking that update. But once it's done, then just hit Control Alt F2 on Ubuntu, I believe, because on Ubuntu, uh, TTY2 is actually, yeah, your graphical environment. Those of you on Arch-based systems, you would hit Control Alt F1 to go back to TTY1, which is your graphical environment. But yeah, that's, that's what I'm thinking, and this is not some new advice that I came up with. This has been around for decades. Since I've been running Linux, I've heard like some of the old Unix neckbeards warn me about upgrading inside a graphical environment, you know, inside, you know, Xorg or Wayland, whatever desktop environment you happen to be running. They always warn, hey, you know, sometimes those desktop environments like GNOME or KDE Plasma or whatever it happens to be, they crash in the middle of an update. Especially in the past, in years past, especially the big desktop environments, GNOME and KDE, they put out some buggy versions that were crash tested. Some of the early versions of GNOME 3 were very, very buggy. Some of the versions of KDE 4 were very buggy and they would crash all the time. And if you just happen to be updating your system 
at the time of one of those crashes, you were in for a bad time. Now I've been using Linux on the desktop as my primary operating system for about 15 years now. And even though I've always known that these people recommended updating in the TTY rather than in the graphical environment, I've never done it. And it has never caused me an issue. In 15 years, it's never caused me an issue. Itself. Now all of a sudden I've had these three episodes here like in under two months. And because I've had those, now it's got me rethinking, right? It's one of those things, you know, I, I've, I've avoided getting hit by that bus, right, for so long. But now I've been hit by it in rapid succession that I'm going to go ahead and start doing this. And because of that, I'm, I'm making today's video. That way I'm letting you guys know that it might be a good idea for you to also just get in the habit of dropping to a TTY to run your updates. That way you don't have to worry about your desktop environment crashing if you're updating the kernel or if you're updating grub especially those two packages because updating those packages if you get a crash in the middle of them they're not going to work on reboot so you're going to have to get out the rescue usb stick well that's just some of my thoughts i'd love to hear from some of you guys that have been running linux for a number of years do you update in your desktop environment or do you drop to a tty to run your updates i'm sure your experience is down in the comments below now before i go i need to thank a few special people i need to thank the producers of this episode. Of course, I'm talking about Gabe, James Maxim, my homies, Too Bald, Matt, Mimit, Mitchell, Paul, Royal, Wes, Armor, Dragon, Bash, Potato, Chuck, Commander, Angry, George, Lee, Marstrom, Methos, Nate, Erion, Paul, Peace, Arshon, Dwarf, Polytech, Realities for Less, Red Prophet, Roland, Tools, Deviler, Willie, and Cinnabit. These guys, they're my hot steer patrons over on Patreon without these guys. This little rant about updating your machine in the TTY would not have been possible. The show is also brought to you by each and every one of these fine ladies and gentlemen. All these names you're seeing on the screen right now, these are all my supporters over on Patreon. I don't have any corporate sponsors. I'm sponsored by you guys, the community. If you like my work and want to see more videos about Linux and free and open source software, subscribe to DistroTube over on Patreon. Peace. Maybe I should just boot directly into Emacs to update my system.